The Supreme Court has come down heavily on the army and the center for failing to take appropriate action on officers caught illegally selling weapons. The Supreme Court has given two weeks time for them to file their response on the issue. That court has shocked the conscience. The Supreme Court wants to know why the army let off guilty officers lightly. Some only had to pay rupees 500 as fine and has sought to know the status of eight such cases in other commands. Every army officer is entitled to one non-service pattern weapon. However, certain cases were found where one officer was involved in the sale of multiple weapons. As per rules, COD Jabalpur has to be intimated and taken permission uh, from before the sale of any such weapons. My colleague Jaskirat Singh Baba is now joining me live from the national capital. Jaskirat, clearly the Supreme Court has hauled up the center and the army for dragging its feet, failing to take appropriate action on officers caught illegally selling weapons. How is this observation by the Supreme Court likely to influence past cases or impending cases against officers? Well, it is clearly a very serious indictment and scathing remarks coming from the Supreme Court bench right. headed, chief, uh, headed by Justice Datu, who is in line to become the next Chief Justice of India. Now, he, him saying that a cadet who is involved in a drunken brawl, you completely dismiss him from future service completely. And right. here there are generals and majors involved who you are letting off with just a small reprimand. So if they have asked the Army and the Centre to come back with the possibility of a harsher punishment right. and also to expand the purview of this case to not just the Southwestern Command but also to the eight other commands and find out what is the prevalent cases and how many such cases are going on and what is the punishment being meted out. Of course the Attorney General in the initial stage has given a response that he should not punish the person and twice for the same offense. If the person has already been punished, uh, it can't be punished again. However, the AG also said, the Attorney General also said, Right, just stay on, stay on with us. Uh, General HN Soon is in fact joining us uh, live at this point in time. Uh, so, what do you make of the observations of the Supreme Court? The army clearly being hauled up for dragging its feet for failing to take appropriate action on officers who have in fact been caught illegally selling weapons. Let me let me tell you that um, I joined the army in '49, right? And I retired in '87 as the commander in chief of the Western Army. Now, uh, right from that time, COD uh, had certain weapons, uh, central ordnance depots, <coughs> and they were giving weapons to army officers or army jawans. Now, there was a very clear cut thing. I still remember. I got a carbine from them, a beautiful carbine. It must be uh, Japanese or whatever, the uh, old one. Now, uh, but we had to sign very strong uh, the, 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 uh, bonds that we will not sell it except to a soldier. Now what is happening is shocking. Now there are two things in this which I want to say. The first thing is, that the weapons, which are these weapons? Are they COD or are they uh, caught on the border? Now, if anyone has taken a weapon from a dead body of a, uh, um, an infiltrator and he has come and sold it, I think the uh, strongest punishment should be given. It, it, it is it, you. You are you are just uh, letting down uh, the your own oath that you will give your life for here and here. He is doing that. That's one. General Hoon, the second General Hoon, is, if yeah. I could intervene here, Gaurav Savant here, this is a very serious case. This is a non-service pattern weapon which are not being sold by Jawans. These are weapons that are being sold by colonels, brigadiers and generals. And the fine imposed by the army is a paltry 500 rupees. What do you think needs to be done in this case with the Attorney General telling the Supreme Court we cannot punish an officer twice for the same offence? <laughs> well, I don't know what laws there are, but I think it is uh, shocking. It it shows a, a, a degradation of your uh, own self. I, I I don't think one could have ever done this in life. I wouldn't even think about it because I know when I retired, I had that. So in fact, the army a, a general the general the army today. Perhaps should come out with new laws, new policies to ensure 
NSP weapons are not sold out in the civil and if they are sold as you rightly pointed out they should be sold to the next generation of soldiers uh, should an officer retire and think he does not need that weapon it should yeah. not be sold because it's going into wrong hands anti national elements criminals could even be terrorists yes. in the times to come so the army it is very important for both arun jetli as defense minister and for the army chief general suhag to come out with a new policy on this general no new policy they, 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 it is already laid down i want uh, uh, capital punishment if someone whether he is a general or whether he is a sipahi if he has done such a horrible thing it's a it's a, a thing against the country it's against the grain of the officer or the oath that we take i i i, I think i am being uh, truthful i he should be hung he should be punished there's no question that 500 rupees i think this is even even i am afraid Uh, the our, our rules are an archaea and we have to change them and make sure otherwise there is going to be a, a terrible thing and what's the name of the army today if this has happened or the air force or the navy it's a shame i i, I cannot even think of such a thing having happened and if it is please take the strongest um, action let him go to the gallows Let's set an example. Right, General P. N. Hoon and Gaur Savan. There, thanks so much for joining us with those perspectives. Clearly, the Supreme Court coming out and using very strong words against the Indian Army and the Center, accusing the Army of dragging its feet, failing to take appropriate action on officers who have, in fact, been caught illegally selling their weapons.